Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10, KB5058379, had broken BitLocker recovery again. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen, if you'd like some more info. And it seems that this update is causing a couple of issues because it's also force enabling lock screen widgets I posted on that earlier today. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen as well. Now, when I posted last week that the update had broken BitLocker recovery again, Microsoft hadn't officially confirmed the issue. That was just according to reports during the rounds online. Now, just to let you know, once again, Microsoft has officially now updated its known issues health dashboard page. And Microsoft has this officially to say. It says, we are aware of a known issue on devices with Intel Trusted Execution Technology TXT, enabled on 10th generation or later Intel vPro processors. Now, just a brief recap as to what TXT is all about, in case you're unaware. It's a security feature built into Intel processors and chipsets, and it helps protect computers from software attacks by ensuring that apps run in a safe, isolated space. So that's just a brief overview of to what TXT is all about. Microsoft carries on to say, they say that on these systems, installing the May 13, 2025 security update, as mentioned, might cause rsas.exe to terminate unexpectedly, triggering an automatic repair. On devices with BitLocker enabled, BitLocker requires the input of your BitLocker recovery key to initiate the automatic repair. So that's why, so that's why you are seeing this BitLocker recovery screen after restarting your device. Now, Microsoft has said that affected devices then enter one of two states. Number one, some devices might make several attempts to install the update before Startup Repair successfully rolls back to the previously installed update. Number two, Startup Repair might experience a failure that creates a reboot loop, which again initiates the, an automatic repair, returning the device to the BitLocker recovery screen. And Microsoft has said that consumer devices typically do not use Intel vPro processors and are less likely to be impacted by this issue. So this is, looks like it's mainly affecting corporations and enterprises. Microsoft mentions that additional symptoms reported on affected devices include Event RD20 might appear in the Windows Event Viewer in the system log with the following text. And here is the installation failure Event Viewer report. You can just pause the video if you want to check that out. And Event RD1074 once again might appear in the system log with the text and here is the different um, status code and here is the text with status code 10737407911 so those are a couple of additional symptoms you may experience so just a bit of a deep dive if you are affected now according to microsoft the next steps are that it is urgently working on a resolution for this issue with plans to release an out-of-band update, so basically an emergency update, to the Microsoft Update catalog in the coming days. And they mentioned that we will provide more information when it is available. So if you are affected by this issue, it will not be an update coming through your Windows Update page. You will have to head to the Microsoft Update catalog, and I will obviously post when I get knowledge that that update has rolled out, so we can get all on the same page. And obviously I'll post when that update does become available if you are affected. And something else you can do is you can also uninstall the update if the negatives are outweighing the positives. But for most users, they can't even get into their machine to do and go through that process. So as mentioned, I'll let you guys know as soon as I get wind and knowledge of that update rolling out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.